No Woods in goal, and that's a goal. McAvenny. At three o'clock tomorrow afternoon, Archie McPherson and Dewey Donnelly present another chance to look back on the Scottish sporting year, including Sports Scene's personality of 1987. Sports Scene 87, tomorrow at three. Tonight at five to midnight, the comedy classic is To the Manor Born, with Penelope Keith and Peter Bowles. But first, it's all aboard with a galaxy of stars who all turn out to be proud. <laughs> A very good evening to you. Isn't that the most splendid sight? The silhouette of the capital city of Scotland, Edinburgh. Always very pleasing to the eye on a spring day, and a pleasant spring day as we had today. But uh, the people coming through in the M8 from Glasgow, and believe you me, the motorway was black with traffic, weren't coming to see these sights, not to Princess Street, not to the Royal Mile, not even to look at Calton Hill. They were coming here to Easter Road for one of the most important championship games of the season between Hibs chasing Europe, and Celtic so near yet so far from the championship title itself after that brilliant performance at the Tawdry on Wednesday night. Could they reach the heights again? Well, let's see. By looking firstly at a man who is going to be directly in the line of fire. Andy Gollum, the Hibs goalkeeper, I think he might just be a very busy man this afternoon. And Tommy Doherty, I once said of him that he thought he had the safest pair of goalkeeping hands in British football. That's high praise indeed. The Hibs side is exactly the same as played recently in the local derby against Hearts. 